One Chinese tech startup wants to add a bit of human characteristics to Android robots. The tale is from Yu Li. A business that produces robots only is called X Robots. It seems as though science fiction is becoming reality, but understanding how these robots function and what they can do can help. But before we find that out, watch the entire video to see how we respond to questions. Then click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. The X Future and Science Museum A museum in China is producing lifelike robots with arteries in their legs and shivers on their skin, taking a leaf from science fiction. In order to make robots as adaptable and realistic as possible, innovative robotic technology is displayed at the X Future and Science Museum in the Chinese city of Dalian. The technicians at the museum can scan features and limbs to produce dynamic 3D robots, as per a tour of the planning and engineering facility presented by the Chinese government television channel CGTN. Jiang Lai Lai, a beautiful humanoid female robot with artificial intelligence, presented Creating the Future with Intelligence, a variety program devoted to exhibiting and explaining new innovative technologies in China alongside her human co-host. Jiang Lai Lai, the female robot host who will be featured on Shejiang Television, is 18 years old and enjoys singing, reading comic books, and eating snacks, as per a poster introducing her. It was also mentioned that the robot is particularly skilled at being attractive, as well as storing and analyzing large amounts of data. A humanoid that's ahead of its time. The female robot presenter is seen delivering the episode's subject while posing for pictures in the station's images and promos. She makes rather lifelike lip movements and hand movements while speaking in a sweet voice. Their very first national lifelike robot manufacturer, X Robots, with its headquarters in the Liaoning province of northeast China, created the android. As per the PR office of the Department of Panjin City, the female bot has been growing in popularity since her broadcast debut. Videos of her have been viewed more than 1 billion times on the short form video apps Duo Yin and Kuai Shu. According to product manager Niu Shuhai, the company is working on developing practical robots that can converse, offer public services, and help with medical care. According to Mr. Niu, we built robot presenter Jiang Lai Lai totally with Chinese technologies, from design to hardware construction to software and AI development to assembly. The second generation of robots created by the business is Jiang Lai Lai, he continued. While many internet users were happy to see a new face on their TVs, others worried that the trend might lead to the advance of the machines. She's not just incredibly attractive, she's also very intelligent. On the Chinese microblogging website Weibo, a user said, I'd watch her on TV every day. Amazing, another comment stated. China's technology is improving daily. At this rate, robots will eventually replace people. What else are we supposed to do? One user inquired in worry. While acknowledging the concerns about a hypothetical robot insurrection, Mr. Niu argued that machines exist to assist people. He explained, fear of the unknown is common. However, robots are ultimately created by human intelligence and are under the supervision of their human creators. He reassured them that the company's goal is to create useful tools that can support and aid those doing labor that is monotonous, risky, or repetitive, freeing them up to do more productive and important jobs. One thing is clear, however, with the creation of such robots, people and their occupations will not be fully replaced, according to Mr. New. We want to see improved human-machine interaction. Robots are not the enemy, he continued. The engineering behind the machines. A reporter has her face features scanned in a video uploaded to YouTube so she can personalize a robot of her own. Then, various parts of her anatomy are 3D printed. In the video, she can be seen using a wearing glove to direct the motion of a robotic limb that was 3D printed. According to Yang Jiangguo, vice president of the museum, the skin is composed of medical-grade bionic silicone, and the shivers on the skin, the arteries on the feet, and the hand lines, they're all quite realistic. The museum's robots are built with lines on their hands and fingers, and shivers on their silicone skin. The robots of the exhibition have also left the grounds. 
one of the gallery's robots can be seen directing visitors to COVID-19 test locations in Dalian in a video that was posted to Facebook in November while sporting a face protection. Robots that are modeled after Steve Jobs and Albert Einstein are also on display in the museum, which debuted in September 2021. The two robots can be seen waving and wishing visitors a happy Chinese New Year in a promotional video for the exhibit that was uploaded in February. China has advanced the artificial intelligence sector in recent years, even producing incredibly popular and lifelike AI heroes to lead marketing campaigns. Even during Beijing Games, the nation also used a large number of robots, including robotic waiters who placed food on tables and robotic chefs who prepared meals. A vocabulary database and an AI-driven sex doll with the ability to respond to simple inquiries were developed by the Guangdong-based sex doll manufacturer WM Doll in 2018. The same year, the Chinese media site Sixth Tone said that the Dalian-based company X Doll, which makes sex dolls, was developing an intelligent sex doll that can do the dishes and strike up a conversation. Inside the company. Let's look at what ex-robots employees have to say about their inventions. The beautician Gao Chao. I would love to have a robot if it could be more humanistic, but if all it is is a mechanical imitation that mimics human motions without feeling, then it's not essential. When I'm not there, I hope I can accompany my parents. Art teacher Shui Yi. Yes, one day I'll have my own family and children. I believe a robot can answer their questions if they need to know something about me after I'm gone. As a group of experts works to make androids more conscious, the wishes might be realized soon. Ex-Robots President Li Boyang Humans may interact with one another in a variety of ways, such as through language, body posture, and facial emotions. All of them, together with the ability to interact cognitively with others in the environment, are things we aim to replicate in a robot. This is where we want to be. The better, the more like a human being it is. According to Lee, a future of man-machine cooperation is unavoidable, and the degree of a robot's integration into human civilization depends on how similar it would be to a human, and he is certain that there is a demand for such goods. Ex-Robots President Lee Boyang People in the area have frequently inquired about the possibility of customizing a relative or specific individual either out of melancholy, such as not having the chance to visit someone, or because they really appreciate a particular image. The crew therefore makes every effort to make the robots look as lifelike as possible, but it raises challenges with privacy protection, ethics, and the security of individual biometric data. Ex-Robots President Li Boyang It must first be approved if the robot poses as a relative, such as the norms of humankind. There will be regulations governing robot development in the future that will limit the periods of robot programming. As long as we adhere to the guidelines for creating robots, everything will be great. Lee asserts that as we enter the future, organizing norms for robot development is crucial because the future as portrayed in literature is not as remote from reality as we might believe. Yu Li, CGTN, Liaoning Province, Dalian. That is it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you do, show some love, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on our excellent and informative videos.